So I am rewatching, reviewing, and ranking all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies from Phase 1 onward, and this review of Iron Man 3 will begin Phase 2. But before we get into this, if you want to start from the beginning, you can click the info card or the links in the description. And hey, while you're at it, you might as well subscribe, right? Anyways, let's get into it. So in Iron Man 3, Tony Stark has to take on the Mandarin, and while he's doing so, he has to deal with the emotional and mental aftermath of the Battle of New York. And okay, sure, Iron Man 3 kind of dropped the ball in the villain department. I get that. And yeah, it really sucks to watch that play out whenever there is so much potential with what they could have done. But with that being said, I cannot help but love this movie. Okay, maybe love is a strong word, but at least really, really like it. The main reason being the focus on Tony Stark having PTSD after the Battle of New York, which amplifies the fact that, like he said himself, he's just a man in a can. He's got no super serum, no magic hammer. He's not even a trained secret agent. He's just a genius that had to escape a cave one day and decided to right his wrongs, and then he became a superhero. I don't know what else to say other than I just love how it feeds into Tony's development as a whole. And even Besides that detail, I do enjoy the majority of the writing. Yeah, again, there is the villain issue, but I personally have always been able to forgive that. And now it's even easier since it seems like Marvel is trying to clean up that mistake. Now that's not the only writing flaw that I have noticed in this movie, but if I'm being completely honest, I let those things slide as well just because it's later on in the movie and I'm a little bit distracted by the action going on. So yeah, sure, it's there and I wish it wasn't, but it's easy for me to forgive. So moving on, I really enjoy what Shane Black brought to this movie. Iron Man 3 definitely has a different feeling from the first two movies that I think is a positive change. There was nothing wrong with the feeling that the first two movies had with Jon Favreau in the director's chair, especially the first Iron Man. I'm just saying Iron Man 3 feels different and it's in a good way. If anything, I think it's appropriate to the narrative, given all the change between Iron Man 2 going into Iron Man 3, then everything that occurs in Iron Man 3 itself. I'll I also thought that Shane Black did a great job with the action, pacing, and the balancing of tone. There were moments when the pacing could have slowed down a little bit, but it wasn't anything super compromising to the film. And then you have the action, which is the cherry on top for me. When is it not? Well, when it's bad, that's when it's not. But it's really good in this one, so it definitely has the cherry on top. The use of some new gadgets that Tony has made mixed with big set pieces and some really good looking cinematography and visual effects, all made for some really cool, very memorable scenes that put a smile on my face whenever I watch them. Overall, Iron Man 3 is a very entertaining movie that also has plenty of serious notes that are all balanced very well. Obviously, probably the biggest thing that I love about this movie is Tony Stark's arc and how Robert Downey Jr. acts it out. And then of course the action. But again, this movie isn't perfect, and yeah, it ticked off a lot of fans. And I get that, but I find more good than bad whenever I watch this movie, and it's just a lot of fun to watch. So I don't really let those minor flaws ruin my time. So with that, I say Iron Man 3 is a really good movie, and I give it a somewhat high rewatch probability. So the marathon for phase two has begun and I just realized that this movie turns 10 in May and now I feel old. But anyways, if you're a fan of the MCU yourself, this will be a drawn out thing just because, especially this year, because there's so much going on. This spring and summer, I'm going to be making a lot of videos. So talking about the MCU is going to be a very drawn out series, but I feel like it's kind of better that way anyways. But my point is, feel free to stick around if you enjoy this type of thing. Anyways, those are my thoughts on Iron Man 3, but now it's your turn. Let me know your thoughts on Iron Man three in the comments below and while you're scrolling if you enjoyed this video consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it but most importantly thank you for watching and most most importantly i am iron man actually i'm i'm nate but it sounds cooler to say i am iron man anyways have a great day <laughs>